Broken cable. One of the easiest ways of making an ass out of yourself on stage. It comes right after taking a selfie with a crowd. And it's probably worse than face planting on top of a monitor. Anyway, instead of wasting money on cables that actually work, why not learn how to solder ourselves? Like, uh... Oh, yeah. Um... So, first some basics. A hot iron looks just the same as a cold one. You're still gonna fuck up this, no way around that. You learned that the hard way. Still, fair warning to anybody getting started with this, be careful where you put your fingers. Second, try to keep the tip clean as much as you can. It's so important and it takes so little effort. However, under no circumstances should you use steel wool, which people do. Look. Cleaning the iron with steel wool is like wiping your ass with a Brillo pad. You're gonna get a cleaner, right? But you're gonna scratch it all and it's gonna bleed and, well, the iron does not bleed, but you're gonna scratch and it's gonna work like shit. So use something softer instead, like brass or even one of these damp sponges. Just make sure it's not soaking wet because the thermal shock is gonna hurt your tip. But other than that, these this things are fine. Just use one of these. All right, some basic preparations then. First, you're gonna wanna start off with a clean cut. So get some cutting pliers and snap off the tip. Nice and clean, there you go. And as always, measure twice and cut once. This cannot be stressed enough. Always make sure you've measured things before you cut. So now we have our connector. We're gonna disassemble it. I got one of these fancy ones. I have lots of pieces. So you grab the cable, you present it and see how much you're gonna wanna remove. You don't wanna take off more material than you have to because you know this piece has gotta have something to hold on to, to avoid the cable from, you know, keep the cable from moving. Like, check out this simple ones. This have the metal piece on the back that holds on from the rubber. Same thing, same principle. You just measure, see how much you want to remove, and you don't take out more than that. Just measure and cut just that much, so that the metal piece on the back has something to hold on to, and that keeps the cable from going back and forth. Like. If it does that, it's gonna break right there where you solder, it's, and, and it's not gonna work anymore. So you get your box cutter, you make sure you have a sharp blade, and just slowly go around the insulation without putting too much pressure. You let the blade do the work. You don't want to break the shielding that's inside, which is very fragile and always ends up looking like this when you find that fucking asshole that's like, I had this friend, like, he's a roadie, and he told me you always use your cutting pliers for that. It's like, you could also clench your asshole and use that, but what you don't want to do is go like, die, can't die. It's just... Use a box cutter, be gentle, just be gentle, don't break the shielding, all right? And then you're gonna separate the shielding that you didn't break, because you used the blade instead of pliers like a fucking animal. And you're also gonna separate and cut off all that rope that your friend and his roadie buddy should hang themselves together with. Anyway, you're just gonna separate it, take your... Damn, sweet time doing that. Come on. Come on. I'm dying over here. There you go. You're going to separate that. Now you can get your pliers and cut it off. And you have a nice clean cable you can work with. See? Beautiful. Now here's another one of those instances of make sure you look carefully and measure before you cut. Now when you know how much material you want to remove, you just hold it with the pliers and then you get the other ones in and you bite onto it. You just, you don't cut, you just bite onto it, use the other one as leverage and pull slowly upwards. And there you go, that's a clean cut. You've removed just enough insulation material. You don't do this, like that's what a chimp does. That's fucking wrong, all right? That's what assholes do. Now, same thing again. You just hold onto it with those pliers, then you get the cutting ones, all right? You make sure you have enough material to be able to solder, not, no more than that, and just grab onto it, bite slightly and pull upwards. See, it comes off clean. You remove just enough material, all right? And we're ready to solder, unless you forgot to plug it in, which happens all the time. So you're gonna have a few minutes to feel like an asshole while it heats up, just find something to do and avoid mirrors. You don't wanna look at yourself in moments like that. So yeah, um, now, now we're ready. Now here's when it's supposed to get interesting, uh, when you're actually going to be soldering. You first off, you want to tan the parts. You just take a minute to do this. Just you don't just go on ahead and just 
like stick the thing in and, and, and drench it in and tan. You tan the parts, you make sure you remove any excess there might be. Keep the tip clean all the time so you do a clean job. All right, just go around every part that you're gonna, you know, solder. You just make sure everything's thin and nice and you take your sweet time to inhale the fumes, which I don't know, I don't know if they do something, but they, they smell nice. All right, but you, you go easy with the heat. You don't want to burn anything. You want, don't want to burn the insulation, especially. All right, just take your time. Do the same thing on the connector. Just, yeah, and, and you do it swiftly, like quickly. You just make sure you hold it, unless your hands are shaky like mine. I don't know why, but that, that's how I am. You just heat the part, push the tin, remove, let it cool. All right, you heat it, you add tin, you remove it, right? You don't stay, you don't hang around. You just try to do, you know, move quickly. Just go around all parts that need to be tin. Just, well, in this case, I'm holding it against the table, which is something you're not supposed to do, but I mean, I want it, I want it to be visible. So I'm gonna switch hands. I'm gonna hit it for a little, for a little bit longer because it's a bigger part. I just want it to be hot, push the tin, and then let it, you know, just see how it flows, flows around. You apply heat, the tin just sticks to, I don't know, everything around it. See, that's it, just leave it alone now. Now the connections are as follows. There's a center lug goes to the tip, which is a T on TRS, which is stands for tip ring sleeve. They have the outmost one goes to the ring and the bigger one is which, well, that's ground. That's what goes to the sleeve. That's where the shield goes. Now, when it comes to colors, there's schools for everything, so I'm not gonna go into detail. On this case, I'm gonna have the white one go to the tip, to the middle one, and the red one go to the outmost one, to the to the ring, okay? So, again, we're gonna try to work swiftly and quickly and not make a puddle of tin anywhere, and not go nuts with a, you don't have to go nuts with heat, just heat, push, and you let it cool, you don't blow, that's what, chimps and other animals do. Okay, you hit, you push, you let go. You, and see how it's bright, it's nice and shiny. That's how you want to look. If you blow it, it's gonna have, I don't know, pores and cavities and it's gonna be brittle and fragile and it's gonna break. It's gonna look like shit, right? You don't do that, you don't blow. You heat, you push and you let go. And if you have enough tin, you just don't add any more. That's enough with what it has, all right? So let's go with the red one which I always need to use some tweezers for this because I, I, I stink at working at tight spaces. So there's, there you go, those are tweezers. And you're gonna do the same thing, right? You're gonna try to hold it together, you're gonna shake it around everywhere and turn it around and look like an asshole. And then when you finally set, you heat, you push and you fuck it up and then you heat again and you push and now it's beautiful and shiny and, and, and it's a solid joint and you let it cool by itself. You don't move it around and you don't blow it. That's what douchebags do, okay? And finally the shielding, which, well, I trimmed it off a little bit because it was way too long. So after I tended it, I just cut it. And now you're generally gonna find that hole which you can use or you can just ignore it. Depends on the connector because some of them, you, if you put it through the hole, it's gonna poke out and then you're not gonna be able to close it again. But uh, in this case, I know I have enough space because I know the connector, so I'm just gonna put it through. It's supposed to be mechanically stronger if you use a hole. And in reality, if you, if you have a good soldering joint, just doesn't really matter. But anyway, I just put it through and I'm gonna heat it up. This is a bigger piece, it's gonna take a little longer and I'm gonna have to add a little bit of tin in this case because it wasn't enough of what it had. So you just, again, you hit it, you push, you let go. A little bit more because, I don't know, because I can't leave stuff alone. But then you just leave it alone, you don't blow it, you don't make an ass out of yourself and see, that doesn't look like it's oxidized in any way. It's just, it's very clean, it's very nice. It's that's what you want to look like. And most importantly, realizing that you forgot to put the the, the rear part on. So yeah, that, there's that. That happens all the time. And that's when you realize that you gotta undo everything you did just cause you forgot to check it. So <laughs> yay, go fuck yourself. Now, luckily I don't have a back part there. I, ha I have nothing on the back, so I'm just gonna push it through. Just 
go ahead and cheat. Anytime now. Come on, motherfucker. There you go. See? Like nothing happened. And now you have to put that, that part that holds the, the, the thing there. That However you call that. Put that sleeve there. And you embarrass yourself. Like any time now. <laughs> okay, now you, you we put it all back together. Like, you know, you push the thing there in position. The retaining, holding sleeve, whatever. You push the other thing into the thing. You screw it all back. You, you see what I'm doing. That's it. It's ready. You fixed it. You saved a lot of money. Yay. You can now go on ahead and live life and continue by having all your stupid cables broken, but with a complete certainty that you could eventually fix them if you had the patience and strength of will. And I don't know. We'll always have whiskey and antidepressants <laughs> and I don't know. Have fun. <laughs> Happiness. Wee.